everybody. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. So first of all, we're going to start with the brows because the brows are the frame of the eyes and it's one of the most important parts in makeup. As you can see, I just decided to use my flat brush from Smashbox and I'm going to be applying this dark eyeshadow uh, on the brows. You can use a pencil, but I just find that um, eyeshadows work much better for me. So as you can see to give shape to my brows, I'm just drawing a thin line at the upper part of the brow and then I'm just dragging that all that excess that is on the brow downwards. I'm going to be doing the same exact exact process at the lower part and also at the end. So as you can see we're just creating the edges. We are dragging in all the excess eyeshadow to cover all the hairs in between and after that we're going to move on and change the eyeshadow. This time we're going to be using a slightly um, light color. I'm using a brown eyeshadow as well and as you can see I'm just trying to blend that at the inner part of my brow with the rest of the hairs. Alrighty so now that we have the brows we're going to move on and we're going to be applying the eye makeup. First of all I need a base and for base I'm going to be using this pencil in a lilac um, color. This pencil, as you can see, it's not very creamy, so please, please try to use a creamy pencil because I don't want you to tug or damage your um, delicate skin on the eyes. Okay, for the first eyeshadow, we're going to be using this beautiful eyeshadow from e.l.f. As you can see, it's kind of the exact color uh, from the pencil, so it's a perfect match. I'm applying this with little... Um, uh, movements and I'm going to be covering all the movable part of the eye you know that part that exactly you can open and close don't pass the crease area and if you need to just blend the edges now we're gonna give some color to the brow bone I just decided to use a vanilla color um, that it's a little bit shimmery just to have some uh, shimmer on that area as well after that, to create a better transition between the two colors, I'm going to be using this slightly pink eyeshadow with the blending brush. So just to go back and forth, it's very, very easy. And that way you're going to be blending the colors together. Okay, so now it's time to line the eyes. Don't worry, this is not going to be difficult. I'm going to give you some tips so you can do it um, much better. First of all, try to position your elbow on a flat table or something flat so you can get a better grip. Uh, next, try to pull your arms very close to you and uh, that way you're going to have a better control. You can use your finger, uh, your uh, pinky finger as well. You can put it on your cheek if you need a little extra control when you're lining. Try to use the eyeliner that you find easiest to line um, the eyes, to, you, you find e um, easy <laughs> to use. Um, for me sometimes it's liquid liner, but I just decided to use this cream liner that um, I can control it, I can use it, but please just try to use whatever you find easy. Because that way you're not going to have any mistakes and you're going to you're not going to be feeling frustrated if you don't uh, get a perfect line. So as you can see, now I'm just curling my lashes. That is another very important step when you're doing makeup because when you curl your lashes, you're opening up the eyes and that way your eyes are going to look much, much better, brighter, bigger, and very sexy. I'm just coating my lashes with a primer. This is from L'Oreal, I believe. And after that, I'm going to be applying a black mascara. Now, of course, primer is very important if you want your lashes to look thicker, longer, and very sexy. But if you want to skip that step, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, just make sure to apply two or three coats of mascara or even falsies. So it's up to you. Now, talking about falsies, I'm going to be applying this 
individual fold lashes from e.l.f. just at the outer corner of my eyes because I want to create that um, elongated shape on the eyes that I really like. If you don't like that shape, it's okay. You can just skip uh, the application of eyelashes. Alrighty, so don't worry about the glue. If you're using white glue, you can uh, pass a l another coat of uh, your eyeliner to cover that glue and that's it. Now for the lower part of the eyes, I'm going to be using this electric blue pencil. This is from NYX, but it's okay because it's summer, you can go with something bright. As well, you can use something pastel-like. If you don't like this blue, you can use something more calm, something more um, light. Now on top of the pencil, because I want my pencil to stay in place for a long, long time, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow that it's kind of a baby blue color. And I'm just going to pat it on top of the pencil that I just apply on the lash line. Just like that. If you want, you can apply uh, mascara on the lower lashes, but um, if you don't like that, it's okay. So now we're going to be doing the face. I'm going to be applying a very pink, kind of lilac, kind of purpley, very, very pinky uh, blush. Um, I highly recommend you to use something in the same family of pinks because you are using uh, lilac on your eyes and you're going to be applying a pink lip. So don't use any peachy tones or any dark. Now for the lips, as, as I just said, um, we're going to be using this very bright pink lipstick. This will go perfect with uh, darker skin tones. You're going to look very pretty with this tone. And as you can see, it's a very bright color, so don't worry, just use it and you're going to look perfect for summer. Now I'm going to be applying a little bit of gloss just to make my lips um, juicy looking. And basically that's it. I hope you like it. Make sure to thumbs up the video and leave me your lovely beautiful comments. See you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.